Animation is a trick. When you go to a movie, you're basically seeing 24 still images every second. It's basically like a flipbook. As I flip through here, you can see that each drawing is a little different than the last one. And then as I flip through at speed, the illusion of movement is created. The zoetrope is basically like the flipbook, except in, instead of drawings, we're using sculptures. So what you're seeing are 18 different sculptures, each slightly different than the last one. And instead of flipping through them, we're using a strobe light to make those images stick in your eye. And each one is a little different, and it rotates around, and it looks like it's alive. It's, it's amazing. You get to understand that animation is actually composed of still images. And in this case, they're sculptures. We put all these still sculptures on the disc. So the first thing I did, since it was a disc of Toy Story animation, was get Toy Story 2 characters and bring them into the computer and animate them how I wanted to see them on the zoetrope. I think that the zoetrope is the clearest explanation of animation because on the disc, you get to see every frame of the animation before your current frame where you're looking and every frame of animation after it. Here you have the opportunity to see the tricks the animator used to make those moves. It's a very simple mechanism and a very simple idea, but somehow seeing that come to life right in front of you is really fantastic.